Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the carbon only experiment, our European night crawlers over here, and I have our African night crawlers in the bin next to me here. So I wanted to take a peek in this cocoon bin that we um, had set up. We had some mushrooms growing in it last week. See if we have some more babies, and then just take a peek and see how the worms are doing. So, looks like most of the mushrooms are gone they broke back down so let's see there's a baby right there We had um, 11 cocoons in here, so I'm hoping for more than just one baby. There's a cocoon, it's getting closer to hatching, so there's another one. So it seems like some of them have not hatched yet, but there's at least one that has hatched because we have that one youngster in here. Here's that uh, banana peel that I had in here. And there's some more babies. Looks like two more. So I'll probably add a little bit more food to this today. Um, and a little bit of moisture. It's not dry, but it could probably use a little bit more. So let's take a peek here in the carbon-only European Nightcrawler bin. And take this lid off or this cover rather, it's um, a little dry here on the surface it appears. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. It's definitely a little bit dry in here, I'll have to add some more water. The only thing when you don't put lids on your bins is they do dry, dry out much quicker. But it's enough moisture, just need to keep it up so that it doesn't get too dry for them. And you can see, I mean, they're working through these this carbon material, this um, cardboard. It's getting broken down rather quickly. You can just see like the flaky castings. They look really nice. But you can he even hear this as dry as it's falling out of my hands. So it definitely needs, needs some water today. But there's some juvenile worms in there. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Kind of worms of all sizes, they look really healthy, so that's definitely encouraging. I was hoping to spot some cocoons, but spotting babies is pretty good too. That's at least an indication that you have cocoons. Yeah, it's looking excellent all the way around. So I'll finish turning this up. We'll take a look at the African night crawlers. Then we'll probably add some more carbon sources to both of these bins and a little bit of food to our cocoon bin. So let's hop over and take a look at the African night crawlers. Okay, so here we are with the African night crawlers again. It's surface is dry. This is one of the toilet paper rolls that I put in here and it's not breaking down because it was near the surface. But there is... A juvenile worm hanging out there. So zoom in a little bit. They're working through this carbon really fast as well. 
thought that was a cocoon. They're actually all bunched around where these carbon sources are, which is great. This is some newspaper that was down in here. And you can see the castings between the layers. They're definitely working on it for sure. But these castings are almost like ready to be used. They're in great shape. There's a cocoon right there by my pinky. That's a freshly laid cocoon. I'm going to, have to be better about burying these carbon sources up so they can work through them a little bit faster. But the good news is they all seem to be thriving. None of the worms seem to be struggling at all. And other than the moisture being a little bit um, low, it seems quite, quite good. They seem to be doing real, real well. another cocoon. So let me um, grab a little bit of some bedding. I'm going to grab a little bit of blended food for the cocoon bin. We'll get these quickly fed up and then we'll leave them for another week. All right guys, so I pushed all of the castings up to the left hand side here and I took all the pieces of unprocessed bedding and there was still like a piece of uh, what was this? A corn cob in here. This is our African night crawler bin. So I pushed all of these unprocessed pieces over here and this left side is pretty much completely composted material. So I'm just going to add a few handfuls of cardboard in here. This will be easy for us to tell when it breaks down because it's kind of a fine consistency. So I'm just going to put that in here, maybe one more handful. And I did bring some water to moisten this down with. It's just in a little bucket I have here. And it will soak all of that up. And I'm going to cover it with some castings. So I'm going to moisten these castings down too. And we'll mix it all up in a second. I'm going to add a little bit of my dry mix. Worms still need some grit for their gizzard, even though it's only carbon that they're consuming in here. And I'm going to... Just put a tad more water. That way it can soak up from the bottom into this bedding. See, then there's really no standing liquid at the bottom, but I think that should help. And I'm just going to loosely cover this with some of this finished compost that the worms are currently in. So I'm just going to kind of level this, level this out a little bit and then I'll put the cover back on and we will give them another week. So let's go over and do the same to the European Nightcrawler bin. Okay, so before I get started feeding the European Nightcrawlers, I'm going to feed the cocoon bin. So I dropped a few pieces of egg crate in some water to get them moistened down. I didn't let them soak for long, so they're definitely not wet, but they're lightly moistened. So I'm going to add these over here. A little bit of dry mix. Doesn't need to be a lot. There's only, what, one or two babies so far in here, so they should be fine with, even without a whole, whole lot of food. Then I have some blended stuff over here. I'm just going to add a little spoonful of it. I'm not going to add a ton. But lovely blended food. Put that right down in there. And I'm just going to cover it up with the existing bedding that we have in there. 
and I'll probably just sprinkle a little bit of extra moisture in here, although I do think that's probably enough, but a little bit more certainly won't hurt. But now let's get the uh, European bin fed. Um, I noticed that there's really not any um, like large pieces of unprocessed bedding in here. So I decided in comparison to the African night crawlers, this one I'm just gonna put an entire egg crate um, in here and we'll see how they do with it. Uh, I definitely think we are proving to a degree so far at least that the worms can thrive with strictly carbon sources, which is pretty cool. It helps people realize that it doesn't have to be, um, you know, if you're short on food, the worms can still do fine with, you know, bedding, with newspaper, paper towels, egg grates. I know this seems like a ton of liquid, but I put an entire bucket full in the other one as well, and it seems fine. So I think the worms will be fine. Egg crates especially are very absorbent. So that's all I'm going to add on this side. Um, there is standing liquid, and it will very quickly be soaked up by all of this. And I'm just going to do the same. Bury it back up with some of these existing castings and worms so that it stays moist, because if it's not moist, it's just not gonna break down. Just level the whole thing, the whole thing out. And one thing that I did do in the other bin as well when I turned off the cameras, I just sprinkled a little bit of my dry mix completely across the top, um, just to add a little bit of extra grit, a little bit of buffer. So I'll do the same thing over here. Although we're not running these identically, we're just doing it more for the sake of seeing how well the night crawlers do with carbon, since a lot of people say they do better than other worms. And then I'm just going to finish moistening this down with a little bit more water. I would not recommend that you dump water in your bins, um, but I'm doing it so... I think this should be okay and I will check on it because there is the potential of putting too much, but I think this should be fine. So we'll leave it for another week. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to continue following these experiments and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. I hope you have a great day.